Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is virtualization. In the next few minutes, I will explain virtualization and some related concepts, such as a physical machine, a virtual machine, and two types of hypervisor. At the end of the video, I would also talk about the advantages and disadvantages of virtualization. A physical machine is a computer like this Windows. It has CPU, memory, hard disk, and a network connection. In the context of virtualization, the physical computer is called a host. Virtualization is the process of using special software on a physical machine to create virtual machines. This special software is called hypervisor. A virtual machine is called a guest. There are three important points about virtual machines. One, we can create and run as many virtual machines as we like, as long as their host, CPU, RAM, and other resources allow. RAM is almost always the main limiting factor. Together, all the virtual machines share the same resources of the host, yet each virtual machine works independently. Two, a virtual machine is little more than a file sitting on a hard drive, but to users, a virtual machine appears and acts no differently from a physical computer. Three, a virtual machine can be configured to use not only a different operating system, but also a different type of CPU, storage drive, or NIC than is a host. Now, let's talk about the special software that creates and runs virtual machines, hypervisor. There are two types of hypervisor, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 hypervisors run directly on top of the host's hardware. That's why they are called bare metal hypervisors. They control the hardware and manage virtual machines. Type 1 hypervisors act just like operating systems. Some examples of Type 1 hypervisors are Zing, VMware EXI, Microsoft Hyper-V, or KVM, just to name a few. A Type 2 hosted hypervisor, most frequently referred to as virtual machine monitor, is like an application program running on top of the conventional operating system such as Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. Virtual machines are created and managed by both virtual machine monitor through the host operating system. Examples of type 1 hypervisors include VMware Workstation, VMware Player, VirtualBox, or Parallels Desktop for Mac. Now let's talk about four advantages of virtualization. One, saving money. Without virtualization, we might buy several different physical servers in our data center or many workstations for testing or learning purpose in our classroom or a lab. With virtualization, we can place multiple virtual machines, servers, or workstations on a single powerful physical system. With virtualization, we also reduce device storage space and electrical power use substantially. Simplified management is another advantage because we do not have to manage so many separate devices. 3. Threat Isolation In a virtual environment, the isolation of each guest system means a problem with one guest does not affect the others. Security attacks on a guest may have little effect on a host physical machine. This feature is great for a cybersecurity lab. 4. System Backup and Recovery Virtual machines are simply files 
and like any file, they can be copied and they can be restored. The feature of a snapshot enables to create multiple identical copies of one virtual machine. If something happens to the system, what we need is simply to restore the copy. But there's always two sides to everything. There are some disadvantages of virtualization. Here are four. 1. Compromised performance. Because the host and all guests share limited resources. 2. Increased complexity. Managing virtual machine is more complex than managing physical machines. Learning curve can be steep and more new skills are required as virtualization becomes more popular. 3. There's a big risk since we keep all our eggs in one basket. If a host machine fails, all its virtual machine will fail too. This type of risk is called single point of failure. 4. License cost. This problem is becoming less of a problem, but it is still an important considering factor.